Hi guys, I'm Nina back Iverson. I'm here with the red carpet report at the Beverly Wheelchair where AARP, the magazine, today are celebrating the 14th annual Movies for Grown Up Award Gala. Hi, good, how are you? I'm good. Ina, nice to meet you. Ina, what was your name, sorry? Ina. Inam. Yeah, it's, nice Nor it's Norwegian. Norwegian? <laughs> cool. My uh, my TV show is based around Norwegian mythology with Odin and Thor and things, so fantastic. So have you learned a lot of the Norwegian mythology now? I, I have, yeah, but the, the beauty of it is uh, it's a show about four brothers and a grandfather and on my character's 21st birthday I find out I'm a Norse god or reincarnation of it. It's a comedy, it's a drama. And uh, my character is blissfully unaware of most of the mythology, so what he's found out throughout the series I also found out as the series went on. So. You want to go to Norway and check it out now? Yeah, heck yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we uh, apart from the beautiful women, uh, I've heard there's some beautiful landscapes. So I'm I'm all about hiking and uh, swimming and things like that. So definitely down to go. Yeah, you'll do good in Norway. Well, thank you. <laughs> and I have to ask you as well. Do you have a favorite movie from 2014? Yeah, my favorite was Theory of Everything. Yeah, I mean uh, I I grew up with science being a strong aspect of my household, and the story of Stephen Hawking is so pivotal to history and everything, really. Uh, so that film was not only made in, in such a strong way with such truth and, and such reality based to it, um, but it was also great history. And I think and as an all-rounder, it was fantastic. And I, I, I do hope it wins the Oscar this year. Did you see The Imitation Game? I did. Yep, absolutely I did. Yeah. That movie is directed by a Norwegian director. Is it? So I have to ask you then, how do you think it did? I think it did fantastic. I, I think Benedict Cumberbatch is fantastic and the story itself, that's another one of those films that it transcends just cinema and also speaks to the political injustice which hopefully will make a change for homosexuality, this is complicated, homosexuality in history, you know, people being pardoned for what is considered a crime for the last however many years that uh, that hopefully that film can speak on their behalf and have a lot of those people that were punished pardoned. Yeah. So I think it did fantastic and I really enjoyed the film and uh, I didn't know it was a Norwegian that made it. He's but, actually uh, Oscar nominated now so we're very proud. Well fantastic, I, d I didn't know that, that's incredible. Congratulations to him. Yeah. Exactly, and to Norway. To all of Norway, every single one of them. <laughs> Exactly. I have to ask you as well because a big part of the award season is of course the after parties. Yes. Do what's your craziest after party story? My craziest after party was actually in New Zealand um, after wrapping one of our, our TV series uh, seasons. So um, it basically went for about 40 hours. Uh, were you tired at all? <laughs> Not during that 40 hours, but after the 40 hours, I, I think I probably slept for another 40. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Do you think you will do a recap of that during this award season? I can't say whether I would or I wouldn't. I think we'll just have to wait and see. Do you think there are any stars that would join you on that? I think there will be a lot of ones that would lead me in that, yeah. <laughs> be the, the last man standing kind of game. I try to. Yeah, New Zealanders are uh, we're, we're pretty stubborn when it comes to competition. So that's the thing, it's just let's see who can be able to not sleep. Yeah, do our best, yeah. Or literally not sit down, yes. <laughs> Well, enjoy your night. Thank you so Thank much. You so much. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Meet you. <laughs> That's all we got from the red carpet here today for the red carpet report. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel because a lot more of celebrity interviews and red carpets are coming up. Share the video and also leave us a comment because we want to know what's your favorite movie from 2014. And do you have any Oscar favorites? So leave a comment, share the video and don't forget to subscribe.